Hi guys, this is Philip from Reamt, and today we're going to build this lightsaber bedlath. First of all, we start by preparing all the 3D printed parts that we modeled in the last video. This means properly cleaning and washing away all the resin residue with an isopropanol bath. I usually let it sit in the bath for 5 to 10 minutes before continuing. I sometimes then also wash everything with water and soap. It's more comfortable to handling later on. For everyone thinking about handling resin and isopropanol, take care to use gloves. There's otherwise the chance of an allergic reaction to the isopropanol or resin for your skin. Now before curing the resin, I usually remove the support structure, since the resin is still a little bit soft. That way it's easier to remove. At this point it's even possible to still cut the resin with a sharp blade. Also, chances are better to get the support off without breaking some parts of the actual print. Since as I said the parts at this point are still a little bit soft, I also roughly sand each part, since this step is also easier but I just remove the biggest leftovers from the support structure. The fine sanding happens after curing. And then it's time to put all the parts under UV light. I keep the parts under there for around 10 minutes each to ensure that everything is cured properly. A simple nail polish UV light will do just fine. But really take care that everything is clean and dried. If there is still some groove or cutout where uncured resin is gathering, it can ruin the paint job by dissolving the paint. Next up is sanding all the parts again with a fine sanding paper or sanding sponge before starting the paint job. For the grips, this was still a bit more work than expected due to the twisted shape that I modeled. But it really paid off as you will see in the end. Since not all parts of the bedlath are resin printed for structural reasons, I went ahead and laser cut the connecting parts of the frame. If all the parts would have been resin printed, I think it would have been much too fragile. Of course, this prop is just a decoration element and not a stage combat weapon, but I still want it to be able to hold it properly. The laser cut parts also allowed me to repair cable ducts for future wiring and installation of the lighting system. Once that was done, I could already test assemble everything and take a look at how the bedlath would look like. And I was quite pleased seeing it like that in front of me for the first time. Now I only had to glue the laser cut parts together and also sand them for the paint to probably stick to the otherwise smooth surface. For painting I decided to first give all the parts a treatment with some filler. Even though I had sanded everything, there are sometimes still some fine print lines left. And once the first filler layer properly dried, I sanded the parts again to make sure that no print layer will come through at the end of the paint job. A quick side note, I usually also like to prepare a temporary stand for painting, since this makes the job a lot easier. In general, preparing everything properly in advance will make your life so much easier than just winging it. But now it's already time to give everything a black base layer and then continue with the chrome finish. I painted almost every part in chrome, with the only exception being the grips that I left in black. The rest will just be done with the weathering after everything is assembled. Which, after I left the paint to dry for a day, was finally happening. I prepared all the parts to be screwed together with some standard screws. For the actual lightsaber blades, I just ordered a standard blade that I now had to cut to the right length of each segment and cut the light transmitting plastic film accordingly. The blade segments are then just lodged into the 3D parts. No screws necessary. Finally, I just added the regular blades for where each emitter would be. And yeah, I know, it would actually not be very usable to block another lightsaber with these small parts, 
but maybe I'll exchange those with some illuminated acrylic sheets later on. And also, it's a saber batleth. The sheer look of it should just discourage anyone from fighting against it. In the end, I just gave everything a very quick and dirty oil wash to make it look a bit used. And then I finally held the finished prop in my hands. I really have to give a shout out to Andy for inspiring me to make this. Once I saw the finished prop, I was really happy with how it turned out. And I hope you are as well. Thanks for watching today's video. But of course, this thing is not yet finished. We're still missing all the electronics and we have to choose a color for our lightsaber battle. So stay tuned for another video where we do exactly that. But until then, if you enjoyed, hit the like button and activate the notification bell. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below.